Welcome to Edupedia World Grade 10 Computer Science Video Lecture Series. I am Upeka Wendy Bono and from this episode we are going to learn the fundamental laws of Boolean Algebra. Before moving on, let's check a little bit about the history. Boolean Algebra was introduced by George Boole in 1854. He was an English mathematician who primarily worked on differential equations and the calculus of variation. But the work for which he is best known is the application of algebraic systems to non-mathematical reasoning. He introduced a systematic methodology to manipulate the logical circuitry and their operations. This is known as Boolean Algebra. It is an algebra that deals with binary variables and logic operations. The three basic logic operations of Boolean Algebra is AND, O, and NOT. For us, the main target of using Boolean Algebra is to simplify and reduce any logic circuit to its equivalent form. So, with the use of Boolean Algebra, we can reduce the circuit components of a logic circuit to obtain the same set of outputs for the same set of inputs. Reduction in circuit elements will cause reduced space requirement and it will economical too. Now, the Boolean Algebra is made up of three things. Number one, elements. Number two, operators. Number three, axioms and theorems. Elements means the variables or constants with the value one or zero. Operators means AND, O, AND NOT. Now the axioms and theorems are the things that we are going to learn in here. These axioms and theorems describe how the logic quantities behave. Axiom is a statement which is considered to be true and the theorems are to be proved. Ok now let's start with our first law. A plus 0 equals A. This means for an OR gate, if one input is always 0, the output would be always the value of the other input. We call this law identity law. It states the sum of anything and zero is same as the original anything. By looking at the truth table, you can see the correctness of this law. The second law says a dot zero equals zero. This means for an AND gate, if one input is zero, the output would always be zero. We call this law the null element law. No matter what the value of boolean variable is, the product of boolean variable and zero will always be zero. The correctness of this law can be seen in the truth table. Here is our third law, a plus 1 equals 1. Can you draw the logic circuit and the truth table for this? Let's try to do that. What is the logic gate we have to use in here? The law has the plus sign. That means we have to use the OR gate. Let's try to draw the OR gate. This is the OR gate and the two inputs A and B. The value if the B is always 1. So the output is A plus 1. So this is our logic circuit. Now let's try to draw the truth table of this. We have two inputs A and B and the output Y. So in here the B is always 1 and the A is very 0 and 1. We do not need to input any other rows in this root table because we have only two combinations in here because we have restricted the B value. So now the output is always 1 in here. 0 plus 1 is 1 and 1 plus 1 is 1. Therefore, always the output is 1. So, this is another variation of the null element law. In the previous slide, we shown you how the a dot 0 is always becomes 0. So, same goes in here. a plus 1 is always 1. We say no matter what the value of the boolean variable is, the sum of the variable and 1 will always be 1. Now here is another variation of the identity law. a dot 1 equals a. Can you draw the logic circuit and the truth table for this? Let's try to do this. Same like the previous. It is simple. First we have to decide what is the logic gate we have to use in here. Now the law has the sign. That means we have to use the AND gate in here. Let's try to draw the AND gate. The straight back line with the half front circle. 
the two inputs A and B. Now the value of the B is always becomes 1. So the output is A dot 1. So this is how the logic circuit can be drawn. Let's try to draw the truth table for this. It has two inputs A and B. The output is Y. Now the B is always becomes 1. A becomes very and for the output 0.1 is 0, 1.1 is 1. So now you can see the output and this input is same. We say the product of anything and 1 is same as the original anything. So that's how the identity law goes. It has two variations a plus 0 equals a and a dot 1 equals a. Now here is our fifth law a plus a bar equals 1. We call this as complement law. It states that the sum of boolean quantity with its complement results into identity. To show you the correctness of this law we have drawn the logic circuit and the truth table. So in this logic circuit it has only one input a and with the NOT gate we are outputting the b which means a bar and both A and A bar is inputted into a O gate and it results A plus A bar. In the truth table, when A becomes 0, B becomes 1. When A becomes 1, B becomes 0. And always the output is 1. With that, we can show you the correctness of this law. Now here is the sixth law, another variation of the complement law. It states the product of a Boolean quantity with its complement results into identity which means a dot a bar equals 0. To show you the correctness of this law, we have drawn the logic circuit as well as the truth table like as before. So in here, we have only one input and same like the previous. We are using a NOT gate to make the complement to input into the AND gate. So the output is a dot a bar. Now in the truth table, you can see when a is becoming 0, b is becoming 1. When A is becoming 1, the B is becoming 0 and output is always 0. Now these 6 laws we have came across up to now is known as duality laws because by using the duality principle we can derive another law among these 6. Now what is this duality principle? Duality principle states that starting with boolean relation you can devise another boolean relation by number 1 changing each O operation to AND operation number 2 changing each AND operation to O operation number 3 complementing the identity elements to understand this consider any of these 6 rules say rule 3 A plus 1 equals 1 now change the plus sign which means the O gate with dot sign which means AND gate and simultaneously change the values 1 into 0 so it will be like a dot zero equals zero, which is the previous rule, rule number two. So likewise, by taking a one rule among these six, we can convert into another rule among these six. With that, we are going to continue this lesson to the next episode. Thank you for watching and stay tuned on with Edupedia World to watch the fundamental laws of Boolean algebra part two.